Hey everybody, it's your GameSpot News Update for Tuesday, May 4th. I'm Tor Thorson. Many of PC gamers' summer plans were ruined yesterday when Blizzard Entertainment announced the long-awaited launch date for its real-time strategy game, StarCraft II – Wings of Liberty. The first installment in a three-part sequel will launch worldwide, China accepted, on July 27th for the PC and Mac and will retail for 60 bucks in the U.S. The game will also be available in a deluxe $100 collector's edition that will include an art book and flash drive preloaded with the original StarCraft and its Broodmore expansion. StarCraft II Wings of Liberty will focus on the human Terran faction with a 29-mission single-player campaign. However, the multiplayer component will also let gamers wage interstellar real-time strategy warfare as the Hive-like Zerg and the technologically advanced Protoss factions. Two sequels focusing on those factions, Legacy the Void and Heart of the Swarm, are also in development. Those few U.S. gamers who haven't bought a Wii yet now have a choice of color. This week, Nintendo announced that its wildly popular console will be available in black as well as white starting on May 9th. whoopie doo said gamers in Japan and Europe, where the onyx-colored version of the console has been available for months. To sweeten the deal, Nintendo will bundle all Wii consoles with a Wii Motion Plus add-on and Wii Sports Resort. The extra $50 of goodies won't raise the $200 price of the Wii, which will still come with Wii Sports and a Wii Remote and Nunchuck packed in. But hey, at least your Wii will match the rest of your AV system now, right? Huh? Huh? Well, that's it. Your GameSpot News update for May 4th. For more headlines, head on over to news.gamespot.com.